Hello everyone, uh, I want to talk about an article I just came across discussing uh, Anomalocaris. It says that Anomalocaris is not the fierce predator that uh, it's been led to believe in the media. Uh, we usually see Anomalocaris chewing on trilobites, crunching their uh, exoskeleton, destroying them completely. Uh, but now they say Anomalocaris is just not capable of this. Uh, using a 3D model, uh, they discover the eating behavior wouldn't uh, work uh, after uh, uh, studying the bones of the mouth uh, they realize that the mouth can't even close all the way so it's kind of hard to attack and bite something with such force to break uh, a hard shell if your mouth can't even close all the way they also say uh, there's on the overlapping plates that make up his little teeth looking things that make up his mouth uh, they studied 400 anomalocaris mouths and none of them uh, had any chips, cracks, none were broken, uh, nothing that you would think if you're spending your life biting hard shells, you know, that your teeth would wear out, and none of that happened here. And so, and now they're saying in the fossilized stomach contents and feces of Anomalocaris doesn't suggest that they ate anything hard shelled either. And that's amazing to me because I didn't know we had stomach contents and poo poo of Anomalocaris. So, you know, you learn something every day. Uh, now they say Anomalocaris was just uh, a filter feeder, basically. It just cruised along, around the bottom sea floor and sucked up worms, soft body animals, maybe just plankton. And it's just a, a gentle giant uh, of its day. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think about this, uh, if it's credible. If you still think Anomalocaris is a fierce hunter, uh, explain why. If you agree. Uh, explain why and I uh, look forward to hearing from, from you soon. Have a groovy day.